So just put up a new shed and uh, wanted to add some lights to it. Not got any power to the shed and uh, at the moment got no need to run any electric power. So I thought I would try and power it off, uh, off a 12 volt battery and uh, use solar power to charge the battery. So I uh, brought a couple of white 50-50 LED strips and they go all the way down to the end of the shed. Uh, two separate strips. The lights are connected to this solar controller. That's basically got three sections to it. It's got uh, an input from the solar panel. It's got an input from the battery and then it's got uh, an output to the lights. Uh, battery, I'm just using a 12 volt battery from, uh, it's actually from my daughter's uh, electric scooter. Um, doesn't power the scooter enough anymore but it's fine for the lights in here. So I had it around, I've just added uh, a bit of a ledge, locked it in place of this, this metal strip. The lights themselves are 12 volts, so no converse or anything needed. Uh, you know, you could just hook the battery up for the lights and, and it'll power it. But obviously, uh, over time, that battery's going to run down, so hence you need the, the solar panel to, to keep the battery charged. And you need a light switch to turn the thing on and off. So I've, I've gone for a two-way light switch because I've got two doors in the shed. Um, so just on and off. Just really cheap bat box and a, a two-way light switch. And then the other light switch is, is down this end of the shed. But again, either, either light switch will turn the lights on and off. Um, yeah, this is the other, the other door in the shed. That's the solar panel on the roof. It's about a 15 watt panel. Should be enough for in here. Don't tend to spend any time in the shed, it's just in and out. So it should be more than enough time to, to keep the battery charged. And it's got a little display here as well, so it can show you, um, I don't know if you can see that. But it shows you uh, how much load you're using, how much power's coming in from the solar panel as well. So if I turn off the lights, if you can see it, it'll probably go dark. Yeah, you can see that the load's disappeared, but it's still getting a charge from the panel. To wire up the two-way lights, I used uh, this diagram, which I'm going to uh, just link now. Um, no different from if you're going to wire up a two-way light in the house. And then for the wires, nothing special really, just used some uh, bits of wire that I've got left around uh, for LED lights. Also some 3 amp, 3 core wiring for the, the main run down to the other end. Uh, and that is about it really. Uh, hopefully should should work really well.